So let's handle Bon Haber cycle now. Basically, everybody, the moment you hear the word, because of so many energies involved, uh, students usually get scared of this. There is an easy way of doing it. I will try to explain it in an easier way. So basically, using uh, Bon Haber cycle, we calculate the lattice energy of an ionic compound. So before going in, how do we do it? Let's just uh, define lattice energy. It is a heat released uh, when one mole of a crystalline substance is formed from its ions in ga gaseous state. That means this is a heat release. Therefore, the final answer will be negative. And uh, in the reaction, I should have only one mole. And then it should be formed from its ions. The element which it is formed should be in the ionic form and also in the gas form. So that's the lattice energy. Now let's see how we use this bond haber cycle to calculate lattice energy. Now let's see how do we use this bond haber cycle to calculate the lattice energy of potassium fluoride. Or in other words, I need the energy released for the equation K plus gas combining with F minus gas giving you Kf solid. So let's first write down the equation for the form of heat of formation for potassium fluoride that is k solid reacting with half of fluorine gas giving you kf solid and the heat of formation value is given there now for the lattice energy equation i want potassium in the gas state so i will convert potassium solid to potassium gas and that uh, the heat is heat of vaporization and then Potassium gas has to be converted into its ion, so I will remove an electron from it, and that is the ionization energy. So I am done with potassium positive now. Now let's focus on the fluorine. F, uh, F2 has to be converted into F. Uh, therefore, I break the bond, and the energy required to do that is uh, delta H formation of F. And after I get uh, F gas, I will convert it into F minus and the energy required to add an electron is the electron affinity. So whenever the energies are given, the electron affinity will be given. They won't mention the sign. You have to take the electron affinity as negative. The first electron affinity will always be negative. So now I have potassium positive. I have fluoride minus. That's what I needed. I combine the two. When I combine the two, they become Kf. So, if you see that, there is a big cycle here. K becomes K plus, fluorine becomes F minus, and both of them combine to give you Kf. And this energy is the lattice energy. So, I can apply Hess's law and add up all these heat. So, delta H formation is actually equal to delta H of vaporization. Then comes the ionization energy. Then go back to the fluorine. So, delta H formation of fluorine then add the electron affinity and then the lattice energy so this is the basic formula i have the value for all of them except the lattice energy substitute the values and i get the value of lattice energy so this could be a little confusing how to go about it whether we have to write it in this way i will show you another method and that is a method i'm going to do lattice energy for various other compounds also in the next page where each equation is written and the whole process becomes simpler. So let's go ahead and learn the, uh, I'll get the same answer, but let's go and learn the easier method also. But this is basically is the calculation using the born haber cycle. Lattice energy of potassium fluoride. So apart from using uh, born haber cycle, is there another way of doing the same thing? I should get the same results. So before proceeding, let's define what is lattice energy. Lattice energy is when uh, um, energy released when the ionic compound is formed from its uh, ions in its gas state. So the first step you will do will be write down the heat of formation of potassium fluoride. Write down the equation for it. And that is uh, when one mole of a substance is formed from its elements in their standard state. The standard state of uh, potassium is solid and that of fluorine is gas. And I just need one mole of Kf. So after writing it, in order to calculate the lattice energy, follow these following steps. The first step, reverse delta Hf. So whatever equation you have written so far, just reverse it. So it will become Kf solid giving you K solid plus half of fluorine. 
Since I reverse the equation, I will reverse the value of delta hf also and it will become a positive value now. And then the next equation will be write down the equation for delta H of vaporization that is converting potassium solid to potassium gas. And the third equation will be to convert potassium gas to potassium ion and that comes as potassium gas giving you K plus plus 1 electron and the ionization energy. And then uh, the fourth equation will be to break the fluorine-fluorine bond or to convert fluorine to F gas and that's the bond energy equation. Now the fifth equation is I'm converting fluorine gas to fluorine ion by adding an electron and electron affinity that will be negative 328 kilojoules per mole. So I have to put a negative value in front of electron affinity. So I have now these five equations and add up all these equations. When you add it up all the things which is written in similar color KS, KS, KG, KG, FG, FG, they get cancelled and electrons also get cancelled and you are left with KF solid giving you K plus gas plus F minus gas and um, calculate the corresponding delta H also. So what do you get now? If you compare this equation 6 with the lattice energy equation, you realize that this is just the reverse of the lattice energy equation. So the whole process becomes simple. Uh, just reverse equation 6 now. And it becomes K plus plus F minus giving you KF. And reverse the lattice energy also. And you get the value. So uh, this is also basically Bonner cycle. Put it in, put in different steps. And uh, I have uh, applied Bonner cycle to other kind of compounds also. Uh, this is KF where I have uh, the formula is 1 is to 1 mole. But when, the, when it comes as compounds like sodium oxide, Na2O, NgCl2, the calculations become a little difficult. Refer to the further lattice energy calculations. And then uh, I have tried to uh, address one of each kind of ionic compound which you will come across.